Allahabad High Court has recently given a ruling that has set a chain of reactions on social media. Most of these reactions are misinformed because they seem to understand that the High Court has said that Saptapadi or Saat Pere is the only way to solemnize a Hindu marriage. Hindu marriages governed under the Hindu Marriage Act can be solemnized through customary practices. That can be Saat Pere or various other customs that exist in extremely diverse forms across the country. The Allahabad High Court has merely ruled on the facts of the case. The High Court has said that in the facts of the particular case, Saat Pere were essential to solemnize the marriage. The issue before the court was not about the legal sanctity or validity of the customary practices or the constitutionality of the same. The court was merely looking at a particular dispute between the two parties, ex-husband and wife, and there were various charges that both had made against each other. The court was merely looking at the facts of the case and charges that both parties had made against each other. In this particular case, there was no constitutionality of any customary practices or any other diverse form of practices which are prevalent across the country. Most of the reactions on social media are misinformed. The court has not done anything to say that if you don't take the Saad Peras or if there is a different ritual or custom that exists in a community to solemnize the marriage, it loses its sanctity. The law of the land in India is that whether it's the Saad Pere, a customary practice of tying a sacred thread or saying kubul hai or I do or any kind of customary practices which are prevalent in different religions, they are recognized as valid marriages in India. The second important aspect to understand, which is that there is no compulsory registration of marriages across the country. Yes, on a state level, there are certain states that have brought in certain regulations, but just the customary practice per se, some evidence of it, and if you've registered it, it's wonderful, but if you've not registered it, that does not deem a marriage as illegal or void ab initio. Customary practices in India have a legal sanctity, not just the Saad Pere, which has been talked about in this judgment, but all sort of customary practices are recognized, the diverse form of practices are recognized, and the court has not done anything to hinder with that particular process.